Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 10 of our Journeyman Save here in FM20. Just for a moment, a mere moment, we had entered the Euro Cup 2 race. Heady heights for Bala Town. A 2-2 draw against Barrytown. It was not meant to be. So a pair of draws, the draw against Jan Dudno last match where I think we got ripped and Barrytown, uh, Jonathan Bennett scored an early goal. Danny Cunningham put us up just after the half, two to one, and then they got a stoppage time goal. Of course they did, because that's how Ballatown plays, and that's how FM20 rolls. But we deal with it. We are sitting uh, fifth position still. We're 13 points up on Banger City. And only one point behind Jan Dudno. But we cannot catch Colwyn Bay. So we're going to finish fourth at best if Jan Dudno loses. Who do they play today? They play New Saints. Now, New Saints has nothing to play for. And they've lost five games now. So... I don't know. I don't know. It'd be nice, but hopefully we can beat beat jump over Jan Dudno. To do that, we are going to be playing Colwyn Bay, who we beat 1-0 in the Welsh Cup semifinal last match, and then we will have a cup final today in the series finale for this season. Not series finale. Season finale. Um, not sure what next season brings. Does some silverware possibly get us a look elsewhere take a look at our profile has not budged so I'm still still upset about that still upset about that uh, where's oh the contract does expire hmm that might just make this a good ending point for the series and move on to the next save so if we do that, and at some point we will, here's what I need to know from you guys. So we send ahead 30 years, right? And we're in 2065. So this is the universe that we have created in this save at this point. So if we end this save, and I've never done this before, but I think it would be interesting is to continue with a new manager create a new manager go to you know you know leave this one retire do whatever and then start a new manager to where we don't have the reputation glitch cuz i'm i'm thinking at this point it's a glitch and just start from here moving forward or do you want to go back to the very beginning and restart the whole the whole save from modern day um, my thing is everybody that does football manager videos does modern day and then if they're doing a journeyman 10 15 years in they're at you know they're at the point we are now where you've basically got you know new gen players regens and you know, everything else. So I think we just continue. I may make this my thing where I do a 30 year jump ahead and then play out and then start anew and then continue from that point in this universe. Um, because it's players that we kind of know a little bit, even though they're fake players, but let me know what you think. Do we keep going in this universe or do we, restart from scratch let me know your thoughts I, I do listen to your thoughts but you know i've already told you which way i'm leaning so anyway that's the goal for this episode is to watch it and then leave some comments below on what you guys are thinking on that topic uh also we put um 
We put Anthony Humphreys. We listed him. Uh, he has one year left on his deal. He is by far our best defender, but he will not discuss an extension with us at all. So I think he's a guy that we can maybe sell and make some money on and, uh, you know, help our books a little bit. <clears throat> he's only 23, so we've listed him. Uh, I, I don't think I've offered him out to clubs yet, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the offseason. So he may not be back next year. We did sign a few of our players to contract extensions, so we've got that going on. But let's get into the matches for today. Colwyn Bay, we're on the road. We are going to be underdogs. Of course we are. So we're going to go with this tactic. Um, you know, I'm going to move these guys up to support. And I am going to do that. All right. Um, Tipton. Oakley's injured. Ackerman would be a two star up there. But he's a two and a quarter star here. Let's see. Tipton has solid pace and much better crossing. What about passing? Nine, yep. So we're going to go with Tipton. Uh, we've got McDonald. I'm going to put McDonald to start. I4, Catton, Bird. I don't think I need that many people. So I'm going to take I4 out. I'm going to take Sermon out. That's going to bring Crown off the bench. And Bellamy. That way I've got somebody for Bennett, Bennett if I need to go there. All right, let's do that. Yes, McDonald lacking in match fitness. Well, he should be st back in the starting 11 next season for sure with uh, the assumed departure of Humphreys. Otherwise, he will collect a big salary. And we are going to, even with the guys that we signed, most of them took pay cuts um, because their status has gone down. They've gotten older. So one guy like... Uh, the striker, um, Demond, went from 15,000 to 10,000, uh, which is really good. Turner with a flick on header. He's looking for somewhere to play the ball. Doyle out to Wilson. Now, that was a bad ball to him, though. Squared over to Bennett. Demond. Oh, what a drop into Cunningham. And Cunningham just dribbles around his man around the post and puts it in. Oh, my God. What a goal for Danny Cunningham. DeMond gets the assist, but that was all on the left winger. And he's only playing today due to injury to Johnson. Chun Kwok with a save in that scrum there. Looks like a rugby match was breaking out. Oh, what a throw right in stride to Wilson. Oh, that would have been nice to have made a run there, and he could have played it into the corner. Damn it. All right, back to their keeper. So I think we've had a pretty good season here, uh, all things considered. Okay, I don't like that. Doyle. McDonald. Back to Doyle. Oh, a nice ball. Can Tipton get to it? He does. But it, Oh, my goodness. The keeper stepped inside the goal. That was interesting. 
and I don't even want to watch. Now I'm, I'm just not even going to watch. It didn't go in. Holy shit. Maybe that's my new thing. I just don't watch the set pieces. Turner, drop ball. Nah. All right. We re maintain control. Wilson's back in. Cross, Turner. Get in there, Matt. 14th of the season. All right. We're going to give him some praise. I was going to demand more, but we're going to give him some praise after that one. Hell yeah. Good job, boys. Oh, nice ball. Turner plays it through. Doyle loses it. He stumbles a little bit. I think he got tripped up on the back of his heel. Ah. No. Yes. <laughs> Great commentary, RC. No. Yes. Go. Get in there. Let's tighten up here at the end. Ackerman, can you get us one more for the half? It's there. Phil DeMond slots it in, his 16th. Oh, it bounced through the entire defense right on the back line, and DeMond taps it into the net. 3-0 advantage here in the season finale. Oh, a cheer from the peanut gallery. Oh, and he did a good job staying on sides as well. Get to the whistle. Oh, Ackerman. Oh, my God. We got a set-piece goal. Ackerman with his second of the season. 4 nothing heading into the half. Oh, my. Oh, that just tailed in. That was a brilliant ball. And I still think that's OP. So they had 10 shots. We had 12. Seven on target Four in the net. Uh, we're going to go assertive. Don't get complacent. All right. You know what we're going to do here? Um, we're going to do some time wasting, right? Some time wasting. All right. And I am going to push our line up. A little bit. In fact, I'm going to push that much uh, to a higher. I don't know what that's going to do. I don't have a clue. All right, good job. Oh, look at the touch passing. Play it through. Turner's on sides. Oh, you had to put that one away. You just had to put that one away. All right, Ackerman. There's a shot! Ray Doyle puts one in, third of the season, and we are having a breakout game here in the season finale. Oh, this could put us in some great morale for the cup match. 5-0. Did anybody expect this? I'm going to say no. I am going to say that was a big negative. Bennett makes a great run to get up there. Cunningham. Give him the overlap. Uh, you got to play it down there. Doyle, DeMond, Cunningham into the box. Turner! Just off the mark. I'm going to praise them. Oh, they're fired up. And looks like Wilson got called on a penalty. Oh, wait. We're going to go with the no look. I don't know. Did he play it short? I really have no clue. Oh, knocked away. I think that was going to find the net. He just got a fingertip on it. No, oh, he's going home. Back to home. Block, good defense there. Doyle does a good job. 
Oh, we had another one, another header on target there. McDonald, no, you needed to do a controlled header there, Declan. Oh, Chun Kwok makes a good run out to control the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. I do want to send out a, uh, a shout out to, uh, to Kev Chapman. Uh, Lelugio, uh sounds like he uh, he put out on Twitter yesterday. Uh, well, I noticed it on his videos, uh, but he uh, oh, what a through ball Turner! Damn it, um, that he uh, is sick. Hopefully not the coronavirus, but he's got uh, you know he, he is sick. So hopefully he uh, is doing okay. All right, let's bring on. Uh, you know what? Let's bring on Bellamy and Bagridge. We're going to bring on two youngsters on that back line. And let's bring on... Lewis Wilson. We'll move him up. We'll bring Neil Crown in. So three new players on the back line. No pressure. 10 minutes to play. Bellamy, demand. Mm. All right, Jellyman. Another awesome name. Wasn't there a character in like Finding in Finding Nemo, the the sea turtle, didn't he call him uh, Jelly Man or something like that? Maybe I'm wrong. All right, Crown, Crown and Doyle finding a partnership. He's deep into the corner. Demond is there. Turner off the rebound. His fifteenth of the season. He's got a brace today, and we are up by six goals, six nil. Oh my God! Anybody that took the over on this one made a pile of cash today because nobody would have expected that. No, Burroughs completely wide open. Crown, what a play. He finds Doyle with a nice outlet pass. Doyle's up near midfield into the circle. He's looking for options. Give him a run down there, fellas. Nobody was making the run. Come on. There's a oh, nice ball. Turner into DeMond. And DeMond puts one in. His 17th of the season. What a goal. That's a brace for both strikers. 7-0. Holy crap. That is some deft ball movement. And they, they've had quite a few shots, but 15 of 29 on target. Oh, what a game. That's got to be the game of the save. That's got to be the game of the save. Both our strikers with braces. It was all for naught, though. Jan Dudno beat Saints. Saints really shut it down there at the end of the season. They didn't help anybody out. Two unanswered goals. Jan Dudno gets the win. They are going to finish in third. And we beat Colwyn Bay, but we couldn't catch them. Jan Dudno was the team we needed to catch. And New Saints screwed us. Thanks, New Saints. If you're a New Saints fan, really don't like you guys, man. <laughs> what a game here. But we still have a game to play. Uh, we are going to go full-blown passionate. I'm very pleased with the result and the... Look at this, a 7-6 for the keeper. That's unheard of. A 9-3, a 9-3, two 9-5s, a 9. Holy cow. Every starter was in green. That's crazy. All right, well, we do have a cup match in, I don't know how many days. What's our next match? Well, let's see. Dominant win. Uh. 
that gets us our qualification for the championship conference. Really, it took to the last game of the season. DeMond was stellar. He was not the only one, but you were superb, sir. We get 64000 for our fifth place finish in the league. Pritchard, we need to criticize for training. All right, let me check something out here. We're 21 points up. I guess they just don't announce the qualifying until, I don't know, don't know. Oh, well, we have a uh, cup match in eight days. We'll be right back. Oh, that's brutal. Training injury. Ray Doyle, five to six weeks. Uh, Johnson will be back. Oh, that's harsh. The good thing is that's a you know the mid central mid we're we're pretty stacked there. We've got uh, Penrith that can come in. Um, we've got Bimba that can come in. We've got several guys that are that we're deep there. We've got that lone player that can play there. Uh, not Bimba. There's another one I think. Woods will be back. So, all right, well, let me get up to the match. But, oh, that was bad news because Doyle's one of our better players. All right, we're getting close to the match. So, we have won the Welsh Cup twice. As mentioned earlier, we have not won it since 2035. Banger City's actually won it 11 times. Wow. But they've been runners-up more times than they've won it. Damn. And it is the Gwynedd Derby. Wow. Oh, nerves are starting to settle in for this one, but I'm still not off the high from last match. Team meeting. Tell them they're not expected to win. Uh, we're going to go calm. All right, they, they took that well. Passionate. There we go. That's going to help. Oh, uh, we stepped it up. Phil DeMond, player of the month, runner-up. Not bad. We actually had quite a... Oh, look at the players. Oh, my God. It's like we're new saints. Look at all the players in there. <laughs> oh, is this the first cup final we've been? This might only be the, maybe the second match we've had a shot at silverware. Oh, he's suspended, right? Is that what the deal is? I think he's suspended. He's injured and he is not registered or something like that. All right. Sermon, we're going to bench off. Catton's in there. Oakley's back. I think we're going to go with Crown. Mm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Tipton. Tipton had a really good match last game. And it is his last game for us. We've got Oakley and Johnson back. Penrith is going to come on. Turner and DeMond up top. Actually, no. Hold on. Uh, Catton. Catton. He's got an eight finishing. Uh, who else do I have? Phil Bird. 14. Owen I4 is a 12. Yeah, I'm going to pull Catton off, and I'm going to bring on Owen I4. All right. Yep, I got gotcha. you. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking for my hand sanitizer here. All right, to the dressing room. All right. We're going to go passionate. Oh, let's go with the revenge. Let's go with the faith. We're going to give them everything today. Come on, boys. All right. 
Ah, we're doing that hand sanitizer thing, man. Coughed in my hand. All right. They've got the first highlight. Oh, they get past the defender. Humphreys heads it out. Johnson is there. We're on the break. He's got runners with him. Oh, he taps it through to Turner. Put it in. Oh, so close. All right, we're looking good here in the early going. All right, let's get creative. All right, Ackerman. Oh, it was there. Was that a... Oh, Humphreys with the shove. Come on, if that would have been their corner kick, it would have been a penalty kick. All right. I don't know that we've ever played in blue kits before, have we? I think that might be our alternative kits. We're not in blue. What the hell am I thinking about? Come on, RC. Focus. Focus. Demand more. Yeah, focus. See, that's what I wanted. And they've got a set piece. That's not good. Of course it's not good. It's a set piece. All right. We're going to have to go. Uh, damn it. Now, I'm going to stay cautious here. I may get another highlight, though. That's troubling. All right, we're, we're doing a good job with the headers, but they're not going to our guys. Oakley pounces on it. Bellamy's there. He plays it. Turner's on the run. He's through, and he slots it home. 16th of the season for Matt Turner to equalize right before the half. That is huge. Let's tell him to tighten up here in the last couple of minutes. Over the top, Demond is there. He, no, oh, I thought that was going in. All right. All right. He did excellent. Keep it up. No cards. Knock on wood. All right. Demand more early on. All right, hold on. I'm going to make a sub. Ben Oakley. I'm going to bring on Ken Tipton. Yes, we're going to let him have some playing time. He had a really good match last time, right? So. Show some passion. All right, we're going to make another sub. Philip Johnson. Let's bring Cunningham on. He had a good match last time. And Turner is starting to slag a little bit. All right, let's get... Uh, God, he's he's the only one that scored a goal, though. Let's bring I-4 on for Di DeMond. May have been the wrong guy. No, no. Blocked. Oh, there's still a lot of time here. Oh, come on. Over the top. I-4! I-4! No! <laughs> you could have been the hero! You could have been the hero! Oh, my God. Somebody put this ball in the net, please, off the corner. Ackerman. Uh, just a big clearance. We're going to have a throw in. We're going to have one more shot here. Possibly. Throw it to the guy right behind you that's open. Yeah, him. All right. And nothing. Extra time. 30 fouls. Holy crap. Phil DeMond has been a poor influence. All right, I am going to... Oh, well, we took him off. We took him off. Okay. Uh, Turner. All 
I'm going to make you an advanced forward. I'm going to push you up a little bit. Um, Humphreys, yeah, I'm 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 good with that. All right, excellent job. Oh, uh, do I? I'm going to pop that up. We had some luck with that last game, did we not? All right. They're frustrated. Humphreys is dying. I don't think I can make another sub here, but if we can. No. Cannot. All right, well, that's fine. That is fine. Show some passion. We're already in cautious, so we're not. It's going to go to penalties. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, Bellamy can actually take a penalty. Everybody else is kind of a shot in the dark. I let them make their own choices for penalties. I've just always done that. Bellamy slots his home. Oh, come on. Chun Kwok. So the first year I ever played organized football, my we were a reject team kind of like the bad news bears if you ever watched and it stopped penris now we need a save oh if we lose on penalties again shit um my dad agreed to coach the team and our first year we went to the state championship oh that was a nice one by turner and uh, double overtime, double shootout. So 10, 10 shooters. We need a save. Oh, we got a finger on it. All right, so we need this one from Ackerman or we lose. And even if he makes it, we need a save. And a save, we lose. Damn it. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I no, okay. I guess we need a save here. You were probably yelling at me. All right, if he makes this when they win. God. A save! Oh, my God! <laughs> Jesus. All right, so now we need this one. A score, and we still need a save, or miss, and we lose. Oh, our number two shooter. Saxton, a center back. And a save. Shit, we missed three out of five. What are the odds of that crap? Boo! Boo! <laughs> I'm not happy. Not happy in the least. We got FM'd in this one, boys. <sighs> Can't fault your performance one of those days. All right. Well, I have made a decision. I have made a decision. And I'm making it under an emotional moment here. It's not Saxon. Um, um, it's it's everybody else. Uh, you did good passing the ball, boss.
All right. Let's take a quick recap here. So we started off at Dunstable Town, got fired. Went to Eastbourne Borough, finished 20th, and then got fired. Ended up at Halson. We ended up winning 2053. Right? We won the second division, got promoted to the Obos Ligan, finished ninth and eighth, so we were moving up. Actually won manager of the month once. That was when we got that weird job offer by FC Mets. Remember, they were in uh, financial disarray, and the goal was to help them get rebounded. Now, we kept them up, but and literally within a couple of weeks, we had the finances sorted to where they were okay. But I just ended up thinking that was a dead-end job, that I had kind of gotten above, you know, out over my skis. So we went to Carl Scrona. We had a good run there. Third, first, moved up from first division to Super Rattan. Super Rattan, we finished second, straight promotion to Alavascon. And then 13th, 7th, 3rd, we were doing really well there. And you guys are right. I have some remorse for leaving that job. And came to Ballatown, 8th, 7th. And then we cut, got into the upper half. And we finished 5th two years in a row. I, we're not going to catch Saints or, or Barrytown anytime soon. And if we take a look at, you know, in, in game, I'm 78 years old. We are over 500 with the run we've been on the last few years. And we've done a good job. We've done a pretty good job. But I am going to hang it up. I'm going to retire. Uh, we're going to end this save at this point. And just because I want to do it, and we talked about it last episode, I'm going to pick up at this point, and I am going to start a new manager. We're going to, we're going to create a new manager, right? And we're going to see where he starts at. It'll be another journeyman save. Uh, but we're going to, you know, that way we're starting off from square one. And I mean, you know, the fact that we had back-to-back -back promotions with uh, Carl Scrona and never gained any reputation, that that made me think it was broken. And I think the, the thought process that some of you guys had was the fact that I had this avatar, this manager assigned to a team for 30 years and then I vacationed for 30 years, but I still got hit for 30 years of nothing, no results. So that I think really did us in, did us in. Um, but some good memories. I enjoyed the save. I really like what I've done with the 30 year leap ahead just because I think it's different from what anybody else does. You guys give me some feedback on that, though, because that'll be something I will be considering for next year. Uh, do we, you know, do we continue to do this and make this, you know, my, you know, my little niche, you know, that's different from what anybody else does and, you know, go from there just with remembering to create a new manager uh, at the point that we're going to go in and actually start playing. But uh, yeah, so we are in May. Uh, I'm going to let the contract run out, but I'm going to go day by day and I'm going to refuse to sign a new contract. And then we'll retire at the, uh, well, I could resign at the end of the club season. And then that way they won't offer me a contract. And they're not going to let me do any transfers or anything anyway. What day does my contract run out? 6.30. Same day as all the players. So, you know, it would be nice to let them have a manager come in and start signing players. 
but you know, if I don't resign right now, I could continue to make moves. If I do announce my resignation at the end of season, um, I think that's what I'm going to do because if we're going to continue, then we can check in on them from time to time. But then what I'm going to do is I am going to create a new avatar now, start unemployed, and then that gives him time to get the ball rolling, right? To try to get some job offers. So thank you for joining along on Climbing the Ladder Part 1. Uh, we are going to come back to, uh, well, you know, it may not be a journeyman, boys. I like to do two different saves. I like to do two different ones. I'll have to give it some thought. But I like the journeymans because I think that's realistic. All right. Well, anyway, give me a like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of this save. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Is the content good? Uh, let me know about the 30 years because that's something that I will think about for FM21. Because, you know, you always have to kind of look ahead. You know, we are into April now. And the new game will be coming out October, November. So um, it's about time to start my second save of, of FM20. And uh, I think this is a good point to do that. I'm, I'm kind of crushed by not winning, uh, missing three, three out of five penalties. That's horrible. But uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Carl Scrona, probably my favorite team of the save. Uh, Ballatown, the most active team as far as uh, retweeting my tweets. Thank you very much to, to the Ballatown people. Uh, hope you guys go back and, and check out from when we started with Ballatown. And I hope you guys stick around and check out some of the football content moving forward. And of course, you know, we'll, we'll keep tabs on these teams because I am going to pick up at this point moving forward. So we'll still be in 2065 possibly 2066 when a, a job comes along. But we'll touch base on all that later. Thank you so much again for just being here and being part of, uh, part of my channel and part of my life. And we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.